Howdy, y'all. Travis and Nikki here from WallsYearCave.com coming at you after the next to last show, Fish of Summer 2014 tour in Birmingham, Alabama at the Oak Mountain Amphitheater. Fantastic show tonight. Uh, yeah. Overall, really dug it. Um, Good right, show. right back on the bus after a little hiccup there at uh, Orange Beach. Uh, <laughs> nice to have our band back and yeah. kicking ass and taking names like they should be. <laughs> yes, we were very pleased actually tonight. I thought, I thought the show was great. Yeah. I really liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was really hot. It was a little warm. Yeah, it's a little hot. A little hot down here for my northern blood, but it's kind of humid too. At like what eighty percent? Something stupid least. like that. Felt, felt more like 98% humidity to me. <laughs> all, the power, all the power to people who can actually handle this and I live down there. I can't deal with it. Anyway. Listen, <laughs> it's up. So the first set, um, we had... We yeah, had kicked it off with ACDC bag. We haven't heard bag in a while. Uh, poor heart was a little rough, uh, but nice to hear. <laughs> yeah. A little botch in there. Uh, but then a uh, real early highlight with the cities. Uh, you know, the cities was a no-brainer tonight because of the Birmingham lyric. I mean, yeah, obviously. Obviously. They were <laughs> yeah, but man, it was so slow. Like, I mean, I'm talking like great went slow. Like, <laughs> like really slow. Yeah, it, was slow. Uh, it got dirty, dirty, and funky, and just... Really nasty overall. It's great to hear. Uh, we, haven't heard, we haven't heard it in a while. Yeah, even Trey said, I haven't played that one in a long time. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. And then uh, we had Kill Devil Falls. And Katie up and uh, Reba. Which Reba. Was, uh, transcendent Reba. Love the Reba. It was really Growing grabbingly transcendent Reba. <laughs> yes, the Reba was beautiful. I thought it was really nice. Really love the Reba. I always love Reba. How can you not love Reba? Uh, yeah. I think Charlotte is still my favorite Reba of the tour, but uh, tonight was fantastic. I really liked the sample tonight, actually. Sample is always a pleasure <laughs> to hear a sample. I really uh, liked it. I don't know. You know, it gets, gets the crowd into it. Uh, Maze was another nice highlight of the first set. Maze was rocking Page of Trade, dueling each other out. Um, really high energy uh, and extraordinarily well played and very uh, fucking sick. <laughs> Love the maze. Love the maze, yeah. And we finished off the set uh, with Wingsuit, which Wing as suit. we all know is our favorite. Hopefully it's not the last Wingsuit of the tour, but while they're playing it, I was kind of worried it might be. <laughs> <laughs> A little sad for that one. I was really excited for the Wingsuit and I thought they'd really brought it. Really brought it. Uh, I thought I mean, they really I love did. it as a first set closer. I think it's a terrific placement for it. And man, man, just soaring again, kind of like the encore in Portsmouth. But like I could feel myself starting to lift off. I could feel the wind under my my wings there. <laughs> I want a wingsuit. The rented wing, the rented wingsuit. <laughs> Someday I will rent a wingsuit. Uh, I want to hear a wingsuit into wing, wind beneath my wings sometime. It would be epic, guys. <laughs> wind beneath my wings. <laughs> Trey, if you're listening, uh, please bust out wind beneath my wings after wingsuit sometime. <laughs> please don't play any Bat Midler. I think I'm okay with that one. They have played it before, you know. I don't. When? Uh, fall Tour 95 with Colonel Bruce Hampton kicking it on the side of the stage really? reading the newspaper. Uh, <laughs> wind beneath my wings. Okay. <laughs> Dropping some trivia on you tonight. I guess so. <laughs> All right, um, and so the merch that we had. Oh today. yeah, let's talk merch. Great merch tonight. Dig the merch. Loving the merch. Uh, we had the Pollock coin. It's very. It's the same exact thing that was on the same, event tee from same, last night. Kind of weird that this design was on the Pollock event tee for Orange Beach, which we did not purchase, uh, and, and then it was on the coin tonight here in. Um, Oak Mountain. Oak Mountain, yeah. Where, where, where are we again? <laughs> Have we been in a few different cities on the summer? Starting to lose track, actually. Uh, so, terrific coin. Uh, small run tonight. Was it 350, I think? Uh, really 350, small. yes. Oh, wow. Number 300 out of 350 we got. Cool. Uh, so, anyways, um, that was a coin. Very cool. Uh, still didn't like it as much as last night. Love that. <laughs> uh, we had, they should have put that on an event here. Yeah, that would, that would have been awesome. Uh, so we got the magnet tonight, and a little different than usual. I'm going to hold <laughs> it real close because it says it's the like magic Cl city. It's Appar like Clara style. <laughs> apparently Birmingham is the magic city. It says so right here on this magnet, Birmingham is the magic city. Magic city makes this my favorite magnet of the tour. Magic. <laughs> it's the same damn thing. But it's it says, like <laughs> It says the magic city. Right on it. Yeah, okay. 
All right, I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> and last <laughs> but not least, we have the poster. This might be my favorite I, poster in the tour. I love the poster. I really this like sick. this poster. Watercolors. It's kind of, it's so awesome. It, As you can see, this is very, uh, no no hidden messages here. We're talking Fuegos. We got Fuegos all over the place. They're impaled on stuff. The funniest thing I saw today. I do my own stunts. Yes, I saw actually photoshopped with on the bottom said, did you see the poster? Because they didn't play Fuego. Yeah, yeah and, so, and uh, just completely ironic that this was the first venue in the, or, yeah, the first venue in the first city that did not get a Fuego on this tour and the poster. And the poster are the actually ultimate Fuego poster. impaled Fuegos. Yeah. <laughs> Trey did say Fuego a couple of times during the vocal jam. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to quite call it Fuego teases, but he did say Fuego. They were not teases. They weren't teases. Oh. It was a joke. <laughs> Sorry, it's really late. <laughs> so, sec, all right, second set. Second please. set. Let's talk. Let's talk set two. Uh, we've got things going with Karini. Uh, terrific. Another second set opening. Karini. Always love to hear it there in that spot. So it was fucking rocking, head banging, uh, Spacey Gordon dropping bombs all over the place, shaking the venue. Love them, Karini, and then right into the Ghost. The, the Karini Ghost combo has been very frequent. Uh, I still think my favorite one was probably Halloween last year, but uh, a lot of Karini Ghost It's been ghost frequent, combos. but it's been really it's yeah. perfect. Please. It's almost like they're frequently. made for each other. One of, uh, one, of, one of our great friends wears a shirt sometimes and says, I live for bust outs. I think she was wearing it tonight. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure she was. <laughs> I, me personally, I want one that says, I live for repeats. <laughs> Because I love repeats. <laughs> but the ghost was awesome. And the ghost was a very big highlight for me. Yeah, uh, in my opinion, ghost yeah. was the highlight of the show tonight. Uh, total transcendent bliss. Over the top. Uh, maybe three different uh, huge peaks. Uh, it was good. You know, smacking in the face, Trey whipping it out. Smack, smack, smack. And then we went into Mike's. And into Mike's. Uh, terrific groove tonight. Uh, Mike's was heavy metal. Uh, not too long, not too extended, but, um, you know, very evil and bringing it just how I wanted it anyways. Yeah, and then the and simple, simple I did, right? Beautiful, simple, and Joy, really... Joy was really happy, beautiful. Happy Mike's groove tonight. Dark and evil on the Mike's part, and then simple and Joy in the middle, and then back the band the wanted us pod. to be happy, and I was happy. <laughs> and then back into the week of Pog, well, not back into, but into the week of Pog. It was good. Yeah, nothing too crazy out of the week of Pog tonight, but, um... You know, rocking, keeping the energy pumping, keeping the energy flowing, bringing the Saturday Night crowd into it. Uh, and then we had Julius, a little, uh, I like Julius there in that spot. I think we all need a little breather, and if you're going to have a breather, it might as well be something that isn't really a breather like Julius. I know, that's not really a breather. Uh, but the sand. And the sand. The other contender for highlight of the show. I like the ghost just a little bit more, but the sand was terrific tonight. Uh, and this, this is... Uh, the real 2014 style of improv that I feel like they've hit on in a few different songs uh, with the slower building texture layer type jams where it's, you know, building more slowly and adding on pieces until it just fucking explodes all over you. And that was the same That night. was definitely the same. Dark, evil, heavy, um, and uh, just masterfully put together. I love how they're improvising in this totally new way that's so patient and so creative and so mature. That was the word I was going to use. It's a mature way of playing. Well, there you go. Uh, we agree. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, overall, um, really a terrific version of Sam. Probably the best of the tour. Yeah. Uh, I know I haven't played it all that much. But, yeah, it's uh, not too much. But uh, Tonight's version was really fantastic. Go back. Definitely worth a re-listen. And then we had the yeah, Velvet Sea. Velvet Sea for a nice little breather. It's always beautiful. And closing the second set out with Y'all Enjoy Myself. Uh, fantastic version of, <laughs> of Y'all Enjoy Myself. Yum. The yum was good. I, th I thought the yum was pretty basic. Yeah. I didn't think it was anything too crazy. I, I didn't really. really. Like I thought Trey had a nice little moment where he was shredding all over the place. Gordon Solar was killer as always. Paige was owning stuff. Um, and of course, Fishman driving the engine. Uh, as always, I thought it was very cohesive. It was not overly extended, although it's always long enough. Um, Trey kind of botched the beginning, but he told us earlier in the tour, he reminded us that he was doing it on purpose, so I'm sure he meant to. Yeah, it's on purpose. Obviously, so Trey, Trey purposefully uh, messed up the intro so that we could all get really excited about the jam tonight. <laughs> uh, and then we had this Quinn yeah, for the encore. Quinn sent everybody out tonight happy. Um, 
And there I'm you go. I'm going to go too far into Quinn. Yeah, but you have. Yeah, I mean, you know. Everybody. I think Mike was actually kind of an MVP tonight. Mike was really bringing it tonight. I think Mike really drove a couple of those gems, and I thought... I believe it was pronounced Gordon, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know where... I don't know why he's always here. He just shows up. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. Uh, you were awesome tonight. <laughs> definitely. I think he dr definitely drove a lot tonight, and I think that a lot of the gems actually became so cohesive because of... Yeah. And of course, as we all know, when Mike steps up the game, the whole band steps up the game, makes a great show. Tonight's show is awesome. Uh, while we might disagree on some of the little points like the end and maybe the rebuff, uh, yeah. uh, overall, we both agree that the show was awesome. Uh, it was good. They're closing up this tour on a real strong note. We got one more show. I can't only believe one. there's only one more show. I'm so sad to go home. Uh, I know we only have a, a short break between there and Dick's. Uh, but everybody, everybody who can't be there tomorrow, we got a free webcast. Uh, yes, the free webcast from Live Fish. Yeah, so if you wanted to check that free. out, we won't, we won't webcast. I might try to webcast from my phone in the show, but maybe not. Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> All right, so um, check out our Instagram, like us on Facebook. Thank blah, you for blah, everything. Blah, blah, blah. I know. I know. <laughs> Comment yeah, if you want to. Yeah, let us know what you think. Let, uh, review our know. reviews. Yeah, review it. <laughs> let us know you're watching them. And uh, so we will... Everybody have fun. Drive safe. Drive safe. Rage last show. Can't wait to see what they're going to do. Uh, my call, I have a really out of the blue call for tomorrow. This is out of left field. I'm calling it right now. Uh, and I really want to get on right before the tour is over. So my call for tomorrow is... Right. Just with my crystal ball, crystal ball, I'm calling Fuego tomorrow night at the tour <laughs> closer in Alpharetta. You heard it here first, Fuego. All right, so we will see you tomorrow with the Fuego. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Good night. Drive safe.